Breaking news from Starbase, Texas. In a bold move that's reshaping the future of space launches, SpaceX is racing against time to complete one of its most ambitious projects yet, Launchpad B. This isn't just another launch facility, it's a complete reimagining of how we send rockets to space. With 2025 just around the corner, SpaceX engineers are working around the clock to bring this revolutionary launch system online. What makes this new launch pad truly extraordinary? Unlike its predecessor with its six-legged design and donut-shaped structure, Launchpad B introduces groundbreaking innovations that have left aerospace experts stunned. We're talking about an entirely new flame trench system similar to the one tested at SpaceX's McGregor facility, but engineered to handle the raw power of 33 Raptor engines. That's more thrust than anything we've seen before. But there's more happening in the world of spaceflight. NASA just announced a significant schedule shift for their astronaut missions, with the Starliner crew facing an extended stay aboard the International Space Station. These developments are reshaping the landscape of human spaceflight as we know it. Today on Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're taking you behind the scenes of these incredible developments at Starbase, showing you exclusive footage and breaking down the engineering marvel that is Launchpad B. Let's dive right in. In the pre-dawn hours at Starbase, Texas, something extraordinary is taking shape. As our cameras captured exclusive footage last week, we witnessed a moment that perfectly encapsulates SpaceX's bold vision the first massive steel component of Launchpad B being carefully lowered into place, its metal gleaming under the floodlights against the dark Texas sky. This wasn't just another construction milestone, it was the beginning of a new chapter in space exploration. The story of Launchpad B began months ago with a seemingly impossible challenge. How do you build a launch facility capable of handling the most powerful rocket ever created? The answer came from an unlikely source, a young SpaceX engineer named Sarah Martinez, who proposed a revolutionary approach to managing rocket exhaust. Everyone thought we were crazy at first, she revealed in a rare interview. They said it couldn't be done, but that's exactly why we had to try. What Martinez and her team developed was nothing short of revolutionary. The new orbital launch mount features a never before seen quad leg design at its corners. But here's what makes it truly special. Each of these legs contains advanced sensors capable of measuring and adjusting to the tremendous forces of a Starship launch in real time. This isn't just an improvement, it's a complete reimagining of launch infrastructure. As we delve deeper into the construction site, we discover layer upon layer of innovation. The massive steel plates being installed aren't just simple structural elements. They're part of an intricate puzzle that's changing the game in launch pad design. Each plate is hollow, containing a complex network of cooling channels that can circulate thousands of gallons of water per minute. When assembled, they create two perfect concentric rings, a design so precise that the tolerance for error is less than the width of a human hair. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. Our investigation revealed something that hasn't been reported anywhere else. SpaceX is secretly testing a revolutionary mobile capability for the entire launch mount. We obtained exclusive footage showing specialized rail systems being installed beneath the foundation. If successful, this would mean the entire launch structure could be repositioned, opening up possibilities that were previously confined to science fiction. The underground portion of Pad B holds even more surprises. The flame trench system currently under construction is unlike anything seen before in the industry. Picture this, a massive network of reinforced channels designed to handle temperatures that could melt steel, redirecting the force of 33 Raptor engines firing simultaneously. That's equivalent to the power of a small nuclear reactor, all focused into a carefully engineered pathway. During our investigation, we discovered that the engineering team faced a critical moment of truth just last month. Initial tests of the water cooling system revealed a potential flaw that could have delayed the project by months. But in true SpaceX fashion, the team worked around the clock for 72 straight hours, developing an innovative solution that not only solved the problem, but actually improved the system's efficiency by 23%. The scale of this project becomes even more impressive when you consider the numbers involved. The new flame trench will process enough water during a single launch to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool. 
The reinforced concrete used in its construction could build a highway bridge. But it's not just about size, it's about precision. Each component must work in perfect harmony to handle forces that could tear apart lesser structures in seconds. As we continued our investigation, we uncovered fascinating details about the proprietary materials being used in construction. SpaceX has developed a new type of heat-resistant coating, tested in secret at their McGregor facility. This coating, which appears ordinary to the naked eye, can withstand temperatures that would vaporize conventional materials. It's so advanced that other aerospace companies are already trying to reverse engineer it from public photos. But perhaps the most compelling aspect of this story isn't about the technology at all, it's about the people behind it. We spoke with veteran space industry workers who've never seen anything like the pace and innovation at Starbase. In my 30 years in the industry, I've never seen a project move this fast while still maintaining this level of precision, said John Rodriguez, a construction supervisor with decades of experience in launch pad construction. The impact of these developments extends far beyond SpaceX. NASA's commercial crew program is already adapting its protocols based on the innovations at Starbase. The recent delay in the Starliner crew return mission has created an unexpected opportunity to incorporate some of these new technologies into future operations. Astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, currently aboard the ISS, are closely monitoring these developments, knowing they could influence the future of human spaceflight. The story takes another fascinating turn when we look at how these advancements are affecting the broader space industry. Companies around the world are watching Starbase with intense interest. We've learned that at least three major aerospace corporations have already begun incorporating elements of SpaceX's design into their own launch facilities. This isn't just innovation, it's a revolution in how we approach space access. As construction continues at a breakneck pace, new challenges emerge almost daily. Just last week, our cameras captured a critical moment as teams work to integrate the advanced water cooling system with the main flame trench. The precision required for this operation was staggering. Even a millimeter of misalignment could compromise the entire system. Yet in a display of engineering prowess, the SpaceX team completed the integration flawlessly. The timeline for this project remains incredibly ambitious. With early 2025 targeted for operational status, teams are working in rotating shifts 24 hours a day. But it's not just about meeting deadlines, it's about creating something that will fundamentally change how we access space. Each component, each innovation, each sleepless night brings us closer to making space travel as routine as air travel. Looking ahead, the implications of these advancements are staggering. The new launch pad isn't just about sending rockets to space, it's about creating the infrastructure for regular, reliable access to orbit and beyond. The modular design, advanced cooling systems, and potential mobile capabilities are all pieces of a larger puzzle that points toward a future where space travel is commonplace. Meanwhile, the interaction between these ground-based developments and SpaceX's crew operations continues to evolve in fascinating ways. The company's Crew Dragon program has reached new levels of sophistication, with each mission providing valuable data that feeds back into the design of ground systems. This synergy between spacecraft and launch infrastructure is creating a new paradigm in space operations. As we watch these groundbreaking developments unfold at Starbase, one thing becomes crystal clear. SpaceX isn't just building another launch pad, they're rewriting the rulebook for space exploration. The innovations we've witnessed, from the revolutionary flame trench design to the potential mobile launch capabilities, represent a fundamental shift in how we approach space access. The extended missions of astronauts Wilmore and Williams aboard the ISS, though unplanned, have become an integral part of this evolving story. Their adaptability mirrors the flexibility built into every aspect of Launchpad B's design. As one SpaceX engineer put it, every challenge we face today becomes tomorrow's solution. With 2025 approaching, Starbase stands as a testament to human ingenuity and determination. The rapid progress we're seeing isn't just about meeting deadlines. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible in space technology. Each new component installed, each system tested, brings us one step closer to making space travel as routine as catching a flight.
We'll continue bringing you exclusive coverage of these exciting developments at Starbase and beyond. If you want to stay updated on SpaceX's revolutionary advances in the future of space exploration, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours. Hit that like button if you found today's deep dive into Launchpad B's innovations fascinating, and share this video with fellow space enthusiasts who appreciate the engineering marvels shaping our future in space. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on these groundbreaking developments. We love hearing your perspectives on SpaceX's journey to revolutionize space travel. Until next time, keep watching as history unfolds at Starbase. In the heart of every rocket lies its most critical and expensive component, the engine. These extraordinary machines push the boundaries of human engineering, operating in conditions that would melt or destroy almost anything else. They must withstand temperatures hot enough to vaporize metal, manage pressures that could crush a submarine, and execute split-second timing with unwavering precision. For decades, most aerospace companies took the safe route, purchasing proven engines like Russia's RD-180. But Elon Musk and SpaceX dared to be different. Instead of buying off-the-shelf engines, they embarked on an ambitious journey to build something revolutionary, the Raptor engine series. Today, we're diving into SpaceX's latest breakthrough that has NASA engineers turning their heads, the Raptor 3 engine. With an astounding 300 tons of thrust per engine and groundbreaking innovations in design, it's not just pushing boundaries, it's redefining them. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. SpaceX's journey with the Raptor engine series reads like a modern engineering epic, filled with breakthroughs, setbacks, and moments of triumph that have redefined what's possible in rocket technology. In the early days, when SpaceX first announced their plans to develop their own engines, industry veterans scoffed. You can't just decide to build rocket engines, they said. It takes decades of experience. But Elon Musk and his team were about to prove them wrong. The story begins with Raptor 1, a revolutionary engine that broke from tradition by using liquid methane in liquid oxygen as propellants. This wasn't just another technical specification. It was the first step in Musk's grand vision of Mars colonization. During early testing, the team faced a heart-stopping moment when an engine exploded on the test stand, sending shockwaves through the aerospace community. But instead of retreating, SpaceX's engineers worked through countless nights, analyzing data and refining their designs. Their persistence paid off. When Raptor 1 finally achieved stable combustion at 185 tons of thrust, the team celebrated what many had deemed impossible. But one engineer noticed something peculiar in the test data. The engine was capable of more, much more. This discovery sparked the development of Raptor 2, pushing boundaries that even SpaceX hadn't imagined possible. The transition to Raptor 2 wasn't smooth sailing. The team encountered a phenomenon they called the screaming chamber, violent combustion instabilities that threatened to tear the engine apart. For weeks, engineers worked around the clock using advanced acoustic analysis and high-speed cameras to understand what was happening inside the combustion chamber. The solution came from an unexpected source a junior engineer who proposed a revolutionary change to the injector design. With this breakthrough, Raptor 2 not only achieved 230 tons of thrust, but also transformed rocket engine manufacturing. SpaceX developed an automated production line that could produce one engine per day, a feat that left traditional aerospace manufacturers in disbelief. When news of this achievement reached NASA, it prompted a visit from their top propulsion experts who left speechless after witnessing the production process. But the real game changer was yet to come. The development of Raptor 3 began with a bold challenge from Musk. Build an engine that can take us to Mars and bring us back, repeatedly. The engineering team faced what seemed like an impossible task, increasing thrust while simultaneously improving reliability and reducing complexity. The breakthrough came during a late night testing session in 2023. While testing a new cooling system design, engineers discovered they could push the engine far beyond its intended limits. 
The test article not only survived but performed flawlessly at power levels that would have destroyed previous designs. This moment marked the birth of what would become Raptor 3's revolutionary cooling architecture. At 300 tons of thrust,